Now you guys remember when we watched that trailer to Black Clover for the video game and we saw Asta with two swords, everyone saying spoilers, and I'm just here like, what the fuck is this? Well, it, it makes sense now. <laughs> Yo, what is going on, my husbandos and waifus? My name is Hermzar, and welcome to another review for you guys. Today, we are reviewing Black Clover, episode number 18. Now, this episode is a flashback central. Now, I'm not saying that's a bad thing, because I, like I said in the previous review, every flashback is important to look into someone's past to see why they are fighting, why they are a magic knight, why they are doing the things they are doing, why they are acting up and acting a certain way. So, I feel like the flashbacks are very important, though my one critique about it is that we see Mars's flashback a lot and it's and it's the same continuous flashback and I feel like it was repetitive to a point to the point where it was unneeded though it still needed like I feel like it was important but I didn't think we needed to see it that much also we got to see a flashback of Mimosa and her past with Noel because it seems like Noel having that personality being a soon soon a soon today she tends to push people off because she's assuming that they feel or thinking a certain way. And she was assuming that Mimosa always looked down at her because she couldn't control her powers versus Mimosa is a royal, has great plant healing magic. She's freaking OP. Though, we look into Mimosa's past where she's saying that she always admired Noelle no matter what. It's kind of like she looked up to her. Noelle had the drive to keep trying and to hopefully be able to control her power, whereas Mimosa was just watching her from the sidelines in admiration because she said if that was her, she would have given up a long time ago. Now, in terms of Mars's flashback, we see a girl, and I'm not going to kill it for you guys. Like I said, I'm ahead. I'm. Oh, by the way, I am caught up, which means this week will be the first live reaction of the new chapter of Black Clover, which I think is going to be chapter 144. So stay tuned for that. It's going to come. It's going to come alongside with My Hero Academia. It's going to be good. But I think I think with Mars's flashback, it, it, like I said, it was the same thing. It was the girl where she's saying, sorry, Mars, you have to die. But we already know because Klaus spoke of it previously that it's part of the Diamond Kingdom's thing where they had these experiments and they had all these kids and they pretty much whoever was the last standing would become their quote-unquote experiment and that's why they say Mars is the experiment of the Diamond Kingdom and that's as far as we know I think later on it gets introduced a little more more flashbacks I guarantee it more flashbacks when they enter the treasure room of that dungeon because this is where we last left off the dungeon there is a scroll and this is my assumption when we saw the scroll there was a lot of wind emanating from that scroll so we're assuming that it's wind magic and it glue green and then it seemed like the writing on the scroll went into Yuno's book. Not a lot of people, well, people will notice that, of course, because we're people watching it from a third person view, but everyone around him did not notice that. I'm also wondering if each dungeon will have a different scroll, like a different scroll with power emanating from it. Maybe there's going to be a scroll with fire. Maybe there's a scroll with water that Noel will get. Maybe, maybe, and maybe there is a scroll for magic nullification. And also, we see how Asta has two swords. I wonder if Asta's gonna get more swords. That's something we don't know about. I, I, that's what I'm assuming because it's. I don't even think it's in the manga and I'm caught up unless I skipped it somewhere. But I think Asta's probably gonna receive more swords that do certain things. Cause I mean, he has one sword that nullifies magic and now he has another sword that can borrow magic from someone and that he could use it against them. Cause we see how Mars recovered and Mars actually showed up with flame healing magic and this is the first time that we've seen someone that has two elemental powers on them mars has earth which i'm assuming was the diamond power that he has around him and now he has fire which is flame magic for healing and this kind of threw Kloss off because he's like this is not natural because usually people are only supposed to have one elemental power and on top of that he's with someone who can nullify magic that has no magic power at all and you know who as well as Asta is a peasant, but is freaking powerful and has a crap ton of magic and is even power more powerful than him. So Klaus is kind of in for a clusterfuck, but like I said, this is the first time that we are seeing someone with two elemental magic powers on them. So I thought that was very interesting to point out and to look at. One more side thing is that Nero, Nero the bird, I feel like Nero, cause even in the manga, there's not much to him. We just know he's such an adorable bird, but he's been helping Asta a lot. I wonder if Nero is some type of special person that is actually pretending to be a bird to help Asta. 
Huh. But Nero definitely plays an important part with Asta. He's there to guide Asta to certain things. It seems like Nero knows where everything is at, where things go. So I think this is going to be later on along the lines. Maybe I might be wrong. I'm probably wrong, but it'd be cool to see Nero actually have some type of special transformation. Like Nero is actually something very, very important later on. I think for the most part, that's about it. If I missed anything, my boys, let me know in the comment section below and let's discuss it. Because this episode, I felt like it could have been paced a little bit faster because I wanted to see the ultimate defeat because it doesn't seem like Mars is fully defeated yet, but I wanted to see the ultimate defeat of Mars. I wanted to see what would come of that. I, would, I wanted to see what would come after that, what would transpire and them getting out of the dungeon. That's where I wanted this episode to end, but of course not. It, this episode was paced a little bit slower versus the last episode, but there, regardless, even though it was paced a little bit slower, there was a lot that happened in this episode, a lot, which is good. But anyways, guys, that is my review of Black Clover. If you guys enjoyed, make sure you guys go ahead and drop a like for me because that'll help me a lot. Subscribe for more content. Of course, like I said, Black Clover manga read-through live reaction will be coming this week. Hope you guys are excited for that. Peace out.